Hey y'all, thanks so much for being here. We're so excited to tell you a little bit about who we are, why we're here, and what we're all about. This is Harvest Point. In November of 1994, I accepted the position as pastor and served here for 27 and a half years, around 2005. And I began to sense that we've kind of plateaued. And you know, that's a dangerous place for a church to be at a plateaued situation. We were trying to get with different pastors, different churches, looking for ways to kind of re-energize the church and reach new people and get people in. And we tried a lot of different things and the, it just never really took off like we had hoped it would. So in 2010, um, I came to know Jesus after going to church for a long time as a kid and then walking away from the church in my teen years and young adult years. Uh, I was converted and submitted my life to Jesus in 2010. Um, really began hungering for the Word and uh, loving God's Word and growing. And, and I just loved people differently. And the Holy Spirit just changed me and um, was involved in a church, in a local church, and serving and worshiping there. And 2015 comes along and I said, hey, we're gonna do some drastic things down here. We're gonna do a major renovation to our sanctuary and our facilities. So we had the pews removed, put chairs in, had it carpeted, had it painted, and did all, put new sound system in. And I remember during that process, people coming up to me and they're saying, why are we doing this? You know, we're just a small church. And I kept telling them, I really feel that we may not be doing it for us. We may be doing it for the people who follow us, the legacy behind us. In 2015, uh, the small group in my house is still going on, and, and some of the core members of that small group started joking about starting a church. And we laughed, and ha ha ha, wouldn't it be funny if we started a church? Well, then we kind of got a little more serious about it, like, man, that, that would be nice. And, I really feel that God is, we need some new leadership here. So my, my thought is this will be my last year as pastor. I'm gonna retire by December 31st. So I wanna give you guys time to go out and find you a new pastor or find you a partner or do something. So whenever you find somebody, I'll step away then. Uh, and that's the way I, you know, I just felt that that would be best for the church. You know, it was just one foot in front of the other, just one step at a time. God never closed the door. Uh, we never woke up and saw a billboard that said, God says start a church, but, but it was just through faithful prayer and obedience, one step, one foot in front of the other, a step at a time, and uh, we ended up starting Harvest Point Bible Church in November of 2015 in two conference rooms at a local hotel. We were gonna do whatever we had to do to get this off the ground because we truly believe this is what the Lord called us to do. Me and my daughter was going out to a pizza place in town that I'd never been to before, but they were telling me how great the pizza was. And so I get to the pizza place and I'm sitting there waiting on the pizza to be done. I look over and I see one of my old friend's sisters sitting over there. I walked over and I began to talk to her because I hadn't seen her in years. And I said, how are you doing? And we go through all the family talk, you know, how's the family, how's things going? And then a thought came to me and I said, Kim, did, didn't your nephew start a church a while back? And she said, oh yeah, back, back a while back. And I said, well, how's it doing? And she said, doing great. I said, you know, we've got a lot of people. We just can't find a place. And I said, have your brother, Scott, who I knew from growing up together and running with when I was younger. I said, have him give me a call and maybe we can get the churches together and talk about it. So in 2017, I was introduced to a man named Tony Maples and he was a pastor at Valley Grove Baptist Church. And little did I know, he was looking for people for his church building and our people were looking for a church building. A lot of times God gives us that next step of faith to take and we don't even realize we're taking it at the time. First time we got together, it was, it was really good. I mean, cause you know, I could just tell from his talking that he was just, what you see is what you get. You know, I'm just telling you how I feel about things, and I like that because I would rather somebody just be up front and tell you than, you know, to kind of hide things. And so I, I, I like that. And, uh, and his commitment to the Lord, commitment to his word. Yeah, that, I mean, for me, that's what I saw with Tony was, you know, um, doctrinally, theologically, yeah. that there was no questions. It was, you know, we lined up, we saw eye to eye. And then also, you know, to hear Tony talk about 
what he had done at Valley Grove Baptist Church as far as the remodeling and the vision and stuff. I just saw great wisdom and humility immediately when I met Tony. I tell you, from my perspective, when the churches came together, it, it, just, it was just a God thing again because, I mean, people came together and it was just like, I, I was introduced to people from their church. It seemed like I'd known them my whole life. Uh, you know, just brothers and sisters in Christ and, and they just so accepting of each other and it, it was wonderful from my perspective. Yeah, and, and everybody was, everybody was excited. Yeah. There was not a lot of skepticism. There was not a lot of rejection. And I mean, again, like you said, people that I had never known before, all of a sudden I'm introduced to them and I feel this, this instant connection where there's like kindred spirits. They're like, man, these are my, you know, grandparent feel to it. And it, it was just, the Lord really, it just seemed like he, blended everybody's hearts together to make it really seamless i mean not just saying that for camera either no, i mean that's no, that's that's, right. the, that's yeah, the truth it did. it did it worked out great but we're wanting to reach people it doesn't matter where they are because we know jesus can take them to where they need to be and that's that's what excites me about what i see going on oh yeah anybody that has any kind of interest in jesus or the word man we want to welcome them with open arms because like you said, that's what we're about is reaching people for the kingdom of God. So, so you know, red, yellow, black, and white, right? That's Jesus right. loves Absolutely. everybody, and, and we want to we wanna portray that to, to visitors and newcomers. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it and learned a little something more about Harvest Point. If you have any questions at all, please reach out. Until then, bye.